Hey guys, uh, I'm back, I'm outside, beautiful day, at the stump, and I got something awesome. I mean awesome, I mean number one, it's the fancy Kubi box, so that's awesome right there, but what's in it is super awesome, because it's a it's a special Kubi. So it's the, uh, it's the 280 Sobek, and maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. It's uh, done in conjunction with Hydra, which is a pretty cool knife brand itself. But what's really cool about the Sobek is that it was done in a very limited edition. I think there's only 500 of these out there. Um, and it's got a, I mean, for, for a Kubi, it's got a very hefty price tag. Um, backed up by quality and materials, let me tell you. Now, you guys know, I keep teasing. Uh, you guys know that on this channel, I have been showing you Kubis. I like to say I was, I've loved Kubis before it was cool. I've showed you Kubis when they were a small, you know, I want to say new to the market brand. Um, and they had blades that you could get for like, I don't know. I want to say that my first Kubi knife was, you know, like less than $15. My, the, the KU-003, the old one anyway. Um, Kubi is a brand that has grown and I keep showing, I keep buying and I keep showing their stuff because they make amazing knives. Now, a lot of their new stuff has um, higher end materials and manufacturing and they're partnering they're partnering with with like big name designers and, and stuff and the price on some of their things is going up but they still make great budget friendly pieces and I'm going to show you another new one that I got um, that's not in the fancy box it's in the regular box but we'll see that soon just for full disclosure they are made in China okay uh, some people think I hate stuff anything made in China it's not true I hate junk that is made anywhere. Um, I, I, I bag and rip on those cheap th things made in China, like Mtex, but Kubi is one of those brands that just, I love them because they give a crap about what they produce. And so this particular uh, blade comes in the, the fancy case, padded case. You could actually store two knives in here if you wanted. You get your Kubi card here. Yeah, you get your microfiber cloth, and then we get the knife. Now this is a DeSantis design, Alessandra DeSantis. I've had my eye on this for a while, and oh, that is so nice. This is gorgeous. I love the feel of it already. It's a nice heavyweight folder. Um, we're gonna talk about I mean, we're going to open it in a minute, but, um, so the, the price tag for this thing on its own is, is about, I think it's two fifty nine ninety five at several outlets. I, it's on sale right now, um, for about one sixty from Kubi itself. If you want to grab it, I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Um, and there are a couple other places where you can find it. Um, you know, coordinated sale stuff, but it is still, it's still up there for full price at 259 from a lot of places. So what makes this thing so expensive? It's a Kubi, right? Um, now this is printed design. It, you can feel the texture on there. Reminds me kind of a Batman. But so number one, we've got a full titanium frame lock. The whole thing is um, six AL4V titanium. Backspacer, anodized clip is um, I think it's reversible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can reverse it left to right with a glass breaker, temple smasher in case you need it, but all, everything, everything titanium um, with, of course, a little, you see the, the overstop in there. You've got Bowler M390 steel for the blade. Um, so you're getting the most, I mean, very premium materials through this whole thing. It's not... It's heavier than a lot of other Kubi designs, but it's not like heavy, heavy. I'm not sure exactly what the weight is, but you know, I'll have that all in text. Um, a couple different deployment options. You've got this big front flipper. You've got, well, I guess we'll call it a, a thumb hole, but it's like a thumb shape. It's got a very different blade shape though that I think some people might not like. Um, the name Sobek comes from, it's an ancient Egyptian, kind of thing um i know this it has to do with a, a crocodile or alligator kind of kind of deity god 
Um, this is brand new, so it might, might need to break in a little bit, but... Oh, I'm pressing on the damn lock. And you have got just a big blade. Look at that, I got number... Blades are numbered, by the way. I got number 31. M390. You've got just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of sew back there for you. Um, now this is the part that now this is an extreme kind of Warren Cliff. It's almost like a sax kind of, um, but it's a flat saber ground blade with a really nice DLC coating on it. Um, almost no reflection at all. Very simple design, but very comfortable. So that clip, it's a deep carry clip, which you know I love. I'm not really feeling it in my hand at all. Hmm. So it's like almost a cleaver type blade, but not quite. We've got pretty early lock up there. Um, and you know, obviously we've got like the, the DLC on the whole, on the whole knife this pattern. Now this front flipper is going to take me a little bit to get used to because normally a front flipper is a little bit closer to the, the top of the knife. So this is this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. But it feels good though. This thumb ramp with the jimping right there is awesome and then you've got your finger locking into this jimping there on the lock area. And then we've got a little bit down by the end. So you get a really good grip there. Very comfortable. There we go. You just gotta get the feel for it. And once you do, that front flipper, no problem. Um, it's got a great detent. And it's on bearings, obviously. Um, and then once we... Uh, woodpecker. Um, getting it to thumb deploy, I'm, I'm having a little trouble because the way I hold it, my fingers are pressing on that lock bar. If I move them around, there, it goes. I just, I, it's again, I gotta get used to it. It's a different kind of shape, um, but I love that blade. And this is one I've wanted to I've wanted to try out for a while, and just I haven't been able to funding problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I think this is probably the most expensive Kubi in their lineup, just because of the materials, the limited editionness of it. Um, it it's just it feels really good though. You know, very simple design, but it just feels really good. Awesome. I could do this all day. Awesome. Um, you know, and looking at the bevel, for a production blade, even uh, like a very limited edition one, often you don't see a bevel that's so evenly done. I mean, but it should be for the money you're paying for this knife. Take a look at the cross section there on that blade too. You've got a lot of strength up there. We don't often get to see that in a blade, you know what I mean? You can see the thickness on the spine, but to actually see that on the front of the blade, that's really cool. So, I'm really enjoying this. Like, I'm glad I got this. I've wanted it for a while. I really have, it's, it's you know, it's been a big decision. Like I'm always saying, where am I gonna, where am I gonna focus with this channel lately? Um, cool little cutout there for the the liner lock. So you know what? Also, so the the over travel stop there, right there, is also combined with a carbide insert for the lock for the lock, which is pretty cool. Now I hate to do this to this brand new thing, but we got to do our usual tests. So. We've got pretty much perfect centering. 
right off the bat. What I'm gonna do here, just try to preserve this coating. Um, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Can't show favoritism, right? All right, let's go. All right. Now, I think that the lock did, did move just a fraction there, but there's absolutely no stickiness. The centering hasn't moved. Um, there we go. The action is still pretty crisp. It, it does have a, a unique shape to it, so I'm not gonna lie about that. You're gonna have to get used to it, but... Or you could just, you know, settle for not flipping it open and just having a standard deploy, you know, slowly. But, um... It makes a statement. It certainly does. It is unique looking. You know what I mean? I wonder how these graphics will hold up over time. And of course, glass breaker slash temple smasher. Um, I hit this hard enough, just so you think I wasn't pull, cheating that test, I hit it hard enough that this plastic stuck into the wood. I mean, no joke. I really gave that lock a, a test there. So, love this. This is going to, this is going to get into EDC rotation immediately. Um, that edge is beautiful. So, yeah, see if you want to slow deploy it, it's, it's fine. Just takes a little bit. Bearings, by the way, if you didn't already figure that out, look at that. It just wants to fall on its own. <sighs> Beautiful engineering. So what we're going to do now is a return to something we haven't seen in a while. We're going to do the ratings. I'm going to get back to that this summer because um, I haven't really given, you know, I. if you're new to the channel since I've been doing it, I have a 12, a 12 characteristic uh, 12 point scale well the, everything's rated on one to five um, but there's 12 features 12 areas that I that I used to do you know grade knives on a knife review and we're gonna get back to that right now with the this Sobek because uh, I think this is a great knife to get back to the ratings on so the first one is originality and departure from previous designs and um, obviously I got to give this a five this does not look like anything else that Kubi has in their lineup at all. And in fact, it might, you know, look, there are only so many knife designs available in the world. So yeah, we're probably going to see something out in the world that looks something like it in one way or another. But I think that as a knife itself, this thing stands alone. So we're going to give it max score for that. For fit and finish, it's also going to get a five. This thing is perfect in every detail, every respect. Um, it is put together absolutely perfect and i have not seen a kubi to this point um i have not seen a kubi that that wouldn't rate a five in the fit and finish department for function and mechanics uh we're going to give it a four and the only reason i'm dropping it down is just because um there are going to be some people goofs like me with the big hands that are going to have a little trouble holding this um with the their fingers against the lock and that's a frame lock thing and a big hand thing and, and sometimes just a stupid me thing. Um, but, you know, it does happen. Um, mechanically, the thing works great, but it, that is going to be an impediment. And it's something that you can easily overcome with time. But some people don't want to take the time. They want to pull a knife out of the package and have it just work. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recognize that. Uh, for practicality and utility, I'm also going to give it a four for the same reason, uh, the same kind of thing. Um, I think this is a great knife. I love this knife. It does take a little bit of practice to get used to some of the new features. And, and there are going to be some people that are going to say, like, for an EDC kind of blade, it's a little bit big. It's going to be a little bit heavy. Personally, I enjoy that. I like that. I like a bigger knife with a little bit of weight to it in my pocket. But um, there are going to be a good portion of people that are going to want something a little bit lighter, take up a little bit sp less space in their pocket. Okay. But, you know, overall, I think it's great. Um, but we'll we'll give it the four to recognize that for production and you know out of the box standards Obviously, we got to give it a five. It, it's just again. It comes out of the box perfect ready to go ready to slice um, Just awesome Comfort and feel I'm also giving it a five. There's no hot spots on this thing. Everything is done um, For your grip the jimping is all in the right places Every curve on the handle is in the right place. Every straight edge is in the right place. The clip, um, while it's deep carry and it's nice and firm, 
it's got right just the right amount of bendability so you're not like killing yourself on the clip and you don't it's not digging into your hand it, it's it's perfect cool factor i'm going to give it a 4.5 i want to give it a 5 but i recognize this blade shape might turn some people off um, I, I also think that some people might not like this little design thing here, whatever that's supposed to be. I, I, I think maybe crocodile eyes or, or the or the batarang. I don't know. But I think that cool factor overall, I, I think that, you know, when I talk about cool factor, I always describe, you know, is it the kind of knife that when you take it out of your pocket and flick it open, you know, your other knife guys are going to be like, hey, what is that? I want to know about that. Can I hold that? Can I check that out? You know, and this is a knife that people are going to, yes, they're going to, the cool factor is there. They're going to want to know about it. And it's the kind of thing you sort of show off. So yeah, I'm going to give it a 4.5, just losing half a point for those features that some people might not be into. Quality of materials, obviously it gets a five. There's, I mean, great bearings, M390 blade, and uh, the highest quality titanium all around. Sure. Yeah, obviously it gets a five there customizability and this is where it gets its lowest score and some people might not care about this but being a limited edition and already coming all kind of decorated like this you're probably not going to want to do anything to it so it gets a 2.5 in that area um you could you could i mean it's titanium so you could i mean you could blast this off and do all sorts of stuff nice flat panel to work on and all but are you really going to do that on this knife probably not um so your knife is going to look like everybody else's except for the serial number on it most likely for collectability value i gave it a four again um it is limited edition it is very cool it is serialized but i'm gonna be straight up and honest you know um the kubi name is not as big as it should be so having a really cool even everything about it being all the quality factors and everything being a kubi doesn't make it probably as collectible as the name hinderer or spider co or Benchmade or something like that uh, and this knife brand should be worth more and better recognized but so i just took one point off for that but it like i said serial individually serialized limited edition run so it, it's got a good collectability factor value of ownership to me is a four um i think that you know it, it's got a hefty price tag unless you get it at a good price you know um I don't know how many people are willing to shell out the uh, three, the two fifty nine, almost two hundred sixty bucks for this knife. I would, because I know that being a coop, like, look, their customer service is awesome, their standards are awesome, their knives are awesome, and this one is a cut above the rest of what they make. Um, to me, it it is worth it. However, they also have some places, you know, having them on sale right now, which I would definitely jump on and take if I were you. So I think the value of ownership definitely, I mean, it would jump way up at the lower price at, at the mat, you know, at the standard price. I think you got to decide. I think a lot of people would think it's a little ex expensive being this brand, at, you know, but then again, I'll say it like I've said before, if it had a Benchmade name tag on it, Benchmade came out with well, this Benchmade fanboys would be all over it and be happy to pay that for, a you know, for a limited edition, you know, kind of serialized bench made so whatever value to price ratio i also gave it a four um and that's thinking about it at its normal 259.95 um price i think you are getting a great value for your money um i think that at the 169 price that i saw it at someplace i think it's awesome i think it's great where are you going to find these materials you know for that price um but at the, the 259, I think I think it's a really good value. I think you're getting a lot. I think that you know it's a lot of money to put down on a knife that you might want to collect. You might make a collection queen because it's limited, because it's serial, the, all that other stuff. So I took a point off for that. But overall, that gives us a total overall score of 52, which is actually pretty good, the way I rate knives. And when we average that out among the 12 categories, that gives it an average overall average score of 4.33 which is actually like one of the highest scores i've ever got over a knife honestly um, i can't remember what the highest score was but it's way up there so i'm really happy with this and i think that this is going to be i'm i'm torn between wanting to just collection queen it um or just carry it all the way and since i found some that are basically half off right now i mean really almost i might just get another one throw it in the drawers, keep a collection queen, and then have one to EDC, because I want to carry this and use it. I really, really do. I really want to carry it and use it. It feels really good, 
It's an awesome design. It's an awesome blade. It's from an awesome company. I want to be able to carry it and use it. I so want to be able to carry this and use this thing. So, yeah. So now it's up to you guys. What do you think? What do you guys think of this? I know that there's a lot of people, honestly, that I've recommended try the Kubi brand. I have yet. I mean this sincerely. I have yet to have somebody come back and say, you told me to try out a Kubi and it sucks. Um, or even, I, you told me to try out a Kubi and I didn't like it. Everybody, when they've asked me for a recommendation and I've steered them towards Kubi, they come back and they comment later on. They loved it. They loved the knife. Um, it's a great brand that really deserves more following. It really does. I love Kubi knives. And that's why I have so many of them. And that's why I always, when I when I can get my hands on a new one, um, whether it's from their lower end, more budget friendly line, or their higher end, fancier line, I want to show them to you guys. I want to get it out there to you guys. So I'm, I'm really anxious to see what you guys think of this. This one being really different from what we usually see from Kubi, especially price wise. Really want to see what you guys think. So I'm going to be anxiously awaiting your comments. and. While I'm waiting, I want you guys to remember that you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.